Hi there, you found us here. It's story time with Miss Becky. I'm Miss Becky, and this is our friend Bear, who loves to read along with you. Bear has a question for you. What makes you feel happiest? Well, <laughs> lots of answers, Bear. Well, Frankie loves his amazing games and toys more than anything. In fact, he keeps all of his toys with him in his heavy backpack. Let's put on the magic reading glasses and see what Frankie will do with his giant backpack of toys at the park. Thankful Frankie by Kathleen Kruger. Frankie was a kid full of life and fun who swam in the sea and soaked in the sun. Frankie loved the parks, the sliding and swinging, the skipping, hopscotching, dancing, and singing. But what Frankie loved most was all of the toys, the ones that stood still and the ones that made noise. The puzzles, the games, the blocks, and the balls. Big ones, little ones. Frankie wanted them all. Frankie had many toys all kept in a pack, which hung rather heavy behind Frankie's back. One day, Frankie woke with energy to run. Frankie looked out at the sun and thought, how fun. Frankie tied up his shoes and ate a quick snack and set off for the park with the giant toy pack. Frankie, Frankie, we're having a relay race. We need your quick speed to help us win first place. Frankie wanted to zip, zap, zoom, and run, but the pack was too big. It couldn't be done. Frankie thought for a moment, then took off the pack. Frankie felt light as air and ran twice round the track. Did you have a good day? Frankie's parents asked. My day was incredible. I had a blast. And your big pack full of toys, where did it go? Frankie thought for a moment, then shouted, Oh no! My pack of toys! I left them all at the park! Frankie couldn't go now. It was after dark. Frankie ran to the bed and began to cry. My dolls and my blocks and my planes that can fly. I'm so sad, Frankie screeched and cried a bit more until Frankie heard a soft knock at the door. Don't worry, Frankie, it will be okay. You don't need toys to be happy anyway. Happiness doesn't come from toys or doodads. It comes from family, friends, and fun you've had. You can make a short list each and every night of all the joy-filled things you have in your life. Try it right now. Give it a go, and you'll see you don't need blocks, balls, or boats to be happy. 
Through the tears, Frankie began listing away all the wonderful things that happen each day. I'm thankful for my family and all that they do. They feed me, they hug me, and teach me things too. I'm thankful for my friends who are always kind and my teachers at school who help all the time. My cozy warm bed the food that I eat, the clothes that I wear, the shoes on my feet, the sun that shines bright, and the breeze that blows by, the rain that rains down, and the trees that grow high. Frankie woke the next day with a heart full of joy, forgetting all about the lost pack of toys. Wow, Frankie thought, my life is truly the best. I am so very thankful, grateful, and blessed. So Frankie continued each and every night, listing all the things that brought smiles and light. Each year Frankie grew, the list grew much longer, as practicing thanks makes happiness stronger. Life was much better, for when Frankie felt sad, the list showed Frankie that Life wasn't so bad. Now it's your turn to try. What makes your life great? Take a moment each day to list off some thanks. Life won't always be easy. Some days it's tough. But your list lets you know there's always enough. Name something that makes you happy. What makes you smile? What is your favorite thing in nature? Name something that makes you laugh. <laughs> Who are you thankful for? What do you love about your family? Bear says he's going to start keeping a thankful list of all the happy times when you read stories with him. And he really hopes you come back soon for more adventures in discovering what makes you feel most thankful. Bye for now. Please subscribe.